Well, in typical Ishmaelite Muslim wild man type fashion, there was this uh, Quran burning over in Sweden. They're calling this guy, you know, being called far right or whatever, who was uh, burning this Quran over in Sweden, and it created no small stir. And like I said, in typical Ishmaelite wild man Muslim style, the Muslims, especially over in Ishmaelite Islamic Turkey, are uh, it's created no small stir among them. I'll put it that way. Uh, they're rioting and acting like a bunch of uh, Ishmaelites that they are, you know, the spiritual descendants of Ishmael, because that's, that's exactly what uh, the satanic cult of Islam is. Because uh, Islam is of the devil, plain and simple. And, you know, the devil, the, the uh, devil spirits in these Muslims, these Ishmaelite Muslims, they are getting real rustled up there and they are uh, showing what the, uh, basically showing exactly how I would expect these Ishmaelite Muslims to act. But it says here on CNBC News, right wing Quran burning in Sweden enrages Turkey and throws a wrench in Nordic's NATO bid. Yeah. It says, it's now been eight months since Sweden and Finland declared their interest to join NATO, a move that is uh, upended the country's, that, that's right, upended the country's long-standing, uh, long, sorry, long-standing policies of non-alignment following the nearby Russia, Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Yeah, a bunch of, uh, you know, stuff that doesn't need to be mentioned. But, yeah. This uh, Quran burning over in Sweden has created no small stir among these Ishmaelite Muslims. It says here in the article, On Saturday, far-right demonstrators burned the Quran and chanted anti-Muslim slogans in front of Turkey's embassy in Stockholm, Sweden. Anaraka immediately denounced the act as well as Sweden's granting of a permit to the right-wing group to hold them at the uh, demonstration. Turkey also canceled an upcoming visit from Sweden's defense chief that would have focused its NATO that would focus on its NATO membership. Quote, we must condemn in the strongest possible terms the files attack on our holy book, permitting this anti-Islam act which targets Muslims and insults our sacred values under the guise of freedom of expression is completely unacceptable, Turkey's foreign ministry said. Well, the Quran is a book of blasphemy, plain and simple. So I would, I would gladly burn a Quran too, because it's, it's blasphemy and you know it's showing this idolatrous, you know, false religion and it's holy book the proper respect it deserves. Same thing if I were to burn a Talmudic Jewish, you know, Babylonian Talmud, the blasphemous, idolatrous piece of trash that that is. Uh, it'd, be, it'd just be showing the blasphemous, idolatrous, idolatrous piece of trash known as a Babylonian Talmud the proper, the uh, proper respect it deserves. You know, I could go on a whole tangent about that, but yeah, both the Quran and the Talmud are books of blasphemies, or sorry, bl uh, books of blasphemy, I'll put it that way. But it says here in the article, the Quran burning was read by, uh, sorry, was led by Rasmus Paludin, who leads the Danish far-right political party Hardline. Swedish authorities say the protest was legal under the country's free speech laws, but Swedish leaders condemned the act, calling it appalling. Now, here's what appalling is, Islam's false prophet Muhammad. You know, the uh, incestuous, polygamous, you know, uh, child marriage, you know, he was in a child marriage, pervert that he was I guarantee you I'm gonna get I'm gonna get banned from YouTube for hate speech for saying that it's gonna rustle some feathers for sure but it says here protests by Turks in response to the burning were held in front of the Swedish embassy in Anakara and its consulate in instant in Instanobol I think as I say it over the weekend in a separate event earlier this month Turkey summoned Sweden's ambassador after a video was published by a pro Kurdish group in Sweden showing an effigy of the Turkish president uh, Recep Tayyip Aragon being hung up upside down from a rope. Swedish Prime Minister Olaf, sorry, Ulf, oh, whatever his name is, uh, basically this um, guy, the guy person who runs Sweden, reportedly denounced the protest as an act of sabotage against the country's NATO membership bid. Uh, if this goes on like this, Sweden's entry into NATO will never be approved by Turkey. Numan Karta Lomas, Deputy Chairman of Aragon's Ruling Justice and Development Party, AKP, sorry, AKP said Sunday. Yeah. Well, I mean, the whole NATO thing is a bunch, you know, NATO itself is just like the satanic New World Order organization known as the UN. But the bottom line is that it's just showing the fact that when you disrespect this blasphemous, idolatrous, holy, you know, unholy book of Islam known as the Quran, it will create no small stir among the Ishmaelite Muslims. You know, because Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12 does say that, you know, how is Ishmael described as a, as a wild man? So I expect his spiritual descendants, the Muslims, the Mohammedans to act the same way. And they're just proving that by doing this. So anyway, wanted to show you guys that Islam is not the devil, plain and simple, and don't let anyone tell you that it's not, okay? Stuff like this is, is proving that. The devil spirits and these Muslims, these Ishmaelite Muslims, these Ishmaelite Mohammedans are good examples of that. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.